everybody welcome to the channel it's W3 here in today's Python tutorial video we're going to be looking at a hash table or hash map we're also going to be implementing our own dictionary in Python so if you haven't already hit that subscribe button for more great content and great tutorials in the future right so a dictionary is an associative array also known as hashes any key of the dictionary is associated or mapped to a value the values of a dictionary can be any Python data, so dictionaries are unordered key value pairs. Dictionaries also belong to the built-in mapping type. So this is what we're going to be learning today, and this is also what we're going to be creating today in Python. So first we need to create our class, which is going to be called hash table. So class hash table. We then need to create our init method, so def underscore underscore init underscore underscore and then self which is referring to the instance or the object of this class. We then need a hash table size, so we're going to do self dot size equals and we're going to put 10 just for now just so I can show you quickly what the hash table will look like but in future afterwards we're going to put it at 256 later on as that is sort of the default size for a dictionary in Python so we may as well use it and then we're also going to put self.hashmap which is going to be a hash map and that's going to equal square brackets and then a list for underscore in range and then we're going to do zero to self.size so a hash map is basically a list that is full of lists and that will become more apparent as we go through the code and we're going to just print self.hash map just to show you so we're going to do h equals hash table we're going to run the code and there we go we've got a hash map here which is all these lists inside one big list and these little li these lists here these are slots or buckets as some people call them but I, call, I like to call them slots and these are going to keep our key and value pairs so yeah and it's going to be no different to what we're creating it's going to be no different to doing d equals dick in the end all right so we're going to have to start off by creating the hashing function which is going to hash our key so we'll start off by doing def and then hashing underscore func with the parameter self and the key that is going to be hashing so now we're going to call it hashed underscore key equals and we're going to be using Python's built in hashing function. So hash and then our key. That will hash our string, our key, whatever, into say like a five digit number. And then we modulate it. So divide it by self dot size and then whatever numbers left over, which will be between zero and the size of our hash map so in this case self dot size equals 10 but we'll change that later on so yep and then we're just going to return the hashed underscore key so we're just returning it and that's our hashing function done so now we need to create the set function and what that's going to do is it's going to set or add the item to the hash map or to our dictionary so we need to begin by doing def set and then self and then the key and the value that we want to set and then we need to do hash underscore key equals self dot hashing underscore func and then the key so hash underscore key now is a number it's an integer and it's going to be between zero and the size of the hash map because of this function here and it's return the hash key then we only also need to do key underscore exists equals false and then we got our slots so slot or what some people call a bucket but I like to call slot slot equals self dot hash map square bracket hash underscore key and that's no different to when you've got a list and then you use square bracket you put a number in there or integer and that finds the position or the index of whatever you're looking at in in your list and I'll show you what a slot is right now quickly a slot in our hash table or hash map we'll get rid of that and run it 
so these these lists here these are slots and these slots are inside obviously this one big list this list here all these individual lists these are slots and they are going to be holding our items in our hash map or our dictionary all right so let's move on next we need to do for item kv in enumerate and then the slot and I'll explain that to you now so the reason we're doing for i comma kv in enumerate slot is because each slot each slot can have more than one key and value tuple pair and that's because of hashing collision and to get around hashing collision we're going to be doing chaining so that means for each item in the slot there can be many more items so we're going to have to iterate through them as you can see in the picture here to make it a little bit more simple I'll create the pictures and that's what we're going to be doing so next we need to do this k comma v equals kv and that's because kv it has two items a key and a value it's going to be in a tuple so we're splitting that up into obviously k for key and v for value and then if key is equal to k key underscore exists is equal to true and we're just going to break and then we need to do if key underscore exists and just a little tip here for you guys we can do if key underscore exists instead of doing equal to true because key underscore exists key underscore exists is true so it's no different saying if true it's no different saying if key underscore exists is equal to true basically and then we're going to do slot square bracket i index in the slot and then that equals our tuple and our key and value pairs and then we can do else slot dot append and a tuple and then key value and that's our set function done so now it's time to do our git function and that's going to be to get the um, using the key get the value from the dictionary or a hash map etc so start off by doing def get and then self and then the key that we'll be using to obviously get our item and then we need to do same as we did for set we're going to need to do hash underscore key we need a hash key and we're going to need a slot so hash underscore key equals self dot hashing funk and then the key and then we also need a slot which is going to equal self dot hash map square brackets and hash underscore key just like before and then for kv in slot and then same as before k comma v equals kv and then if key is equal to k if it's found the key we can just return v return the value basically and also we can do else if the key is not there basically it's not found we can raise a key error so raise key error and we can just put does not exist and that's our git function done so now that we've done this bit let's just go over the code see if there's any mistakes or anything all right this here print self hash map we can comment that out because we don't need to do that anymore and duh, 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 duh. also oh if key underscore exists it's not exists it exists yep that should be fine now we're going to create our instance or object of the hash map or the dictionary so h equals hash table to instantiate it and then we're going to do h dot set and then key one and value one and we'll create two more of these key two and three here and value two and value three so we set it and then we're going to print h dot hash map 
and as you can see you've got key 1 and value 1 key 2 value 2 key 3 value 3 great and now I'm going to show you about collisions and how we've overcome that by doing chaining so if I set this to 10 and that to 20 that's because when those values are hashed and then divided and the remainder because they're the same they're both multiple or 10 they should be in the same slot so we'll test that out and here we are we've got this list here with a tuple of 10 and value 1 comma and another tuple 20 value 2 and they're in the same slot or list so yep we've been we've chained our items which is good now you're probably thinking well yeah that's kind of like a hash map or dictionary in python oh wait we've got to do git as well h dot git and we'll just do 10 and we've got a print and yeah value one so git works as well but you're probably thinking right now in python we use square brackets we don't use git or set we don't we don't use the functions like that and that's right so we're also gonna be making it creating we're gonna write a bit more code so that we can use brackets to add or set the key and values to our dictionary or hash map and also print and get the values so we can just delete this quickly very simple to get it like Python does it. We're going to do def underscore underscore and then set item underscore underscore self and then the key and the value. Now underscore underscore set item underscore underscore. That's a Python magic method. That's something Python has implemented. That's part of the Python architecture. We can't actually recreate that ourselves, but I've tried. Don't you worry. <laughs> But yep, that's what it is, and it's very simple. We'll just return self dot set key and value, and then the same for git. We're going to do def underscore underscore git underscore no git item underscore underscore, and then self and then key, and we're going to also return self dot git key. Before we run the code. We need to come up to get. Oh, no, we don't actually. Yep, we can just run this code now. So we're going to do h equals our hash table, which is no different to doing that in Python. We've created our own. And then we're going to do h square bracket key one equals value one. And then we're going to print h key one. And let's see if that works. And yep, we've got value 1, because we've set the key 1 to value 1 there. And then we're printing it from the hash table, which is our dictionary, and we've got value 1. And there we have it, we've created our hash table and dictionary. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you've learned something. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more future videos. I'll be doing some hacking tutorials and a hacking program, information gathering. So watch out for that and goodbye.